the clock is ticking for Windows 10 as the official support ending on October 14th, 2025. This transition is inevitable and for many users will present a challenge. If you've already made the upgrade to Windows 11, you may have found the new interfaces may be a bit disorienting. Well, in today's video, we'll be addressing those issues head on. I will show you how to quickly and efficiently configure your Windows 11 desktop to make it fit better for you so we can eliminate any of the frustration and ensure a smooth transition to your new system. Let's get started. Let's start our tour with the most noticeable change, the new taskbar. We'll go from left to right, covering everything from the widgets to the notification center. First up is the widgets board. You can open this up by clicking the widgets icon on the taskbar or by pressing Windows key plus W. This panel will give you a personalized at a glance view of everything from your calendar and weather to news and stock prices. You can customize the board by clicking the plus icon at the top to add new widgets or by clicking the three dots on any widget to resize or remove it, making it a handy dashboard for any day. Next to the widgets is your start menu. It's a big departure from Windows 10's live tiles, offering a more minimalist and focused layout. You can customize the pin section with your favorite apps by opening the all apps list, right clicking the programs you use the most, and selecting pin to start. To group similar apps, just drag one pinned app over another. This will then create a folder. You can also adjust the layout by going to settings, personalization, scroll down to start, and then from there you can change the layout to either show more pinned options or more recommendations. Next, we have the core of the taskbar, your search, the task view, and your app icons. You can clean this area up by going to taskbar settings. We can do so by right-clicking the taskbar and going into taskbar settings. From there, we can change the search box from either having it completely there or hiding it completely. We can even turn off task view and even the widgets icon to give the taskbar a bit of a cleaner look. And if you're not so much of a fan of the center taskbar, we actually can move it back to the left side. To do so, we go down to Taskbar Behaviors, Taskbar Alignment, and switch it from center over to left. And that will instantly give you a familiar feel to older versions of Windows. To arrange your favorite apps, right-click on any app icon, go down to Show More Options, and from there, we can hit Pin to Taskbar. This will then bring the icon down to our taskbar, which then we can click and drag to wherever we'd like to have it that fits our needs the best. And here's a pro tip for the new right-click menu to skip the extra Show More Options step. Just hold down the Shift key while you right-click. This instantly brings up the detailed context menu from Windows 10. Now moving to the far right, you can tidy up the system tray. Let's head back to settings. I can do this by clicking on Windows key and I to instantly open up the settings. From there, I can go to personalization, scroll down till I get to taskbar and then other system tray icons. And from there, I can unselect anything that I don't really need to have to clean up that area down there. To the right of that is the new quick settings panel. You can open this up with the Windows key plus A or click the network or volume icon to open it. From here, you can toggle any available quick setting as well as rearrange the tiles by simply clicking and dragging them to fit your preferred location. You can also adjust your brightness of your system if it's applicable to your computer, and you can also adjust your volume here. If you have multiple speakers, you can click the sound output button here to the right and choose a different speaker without having to go all the way deep into the settings. You can also check the status of your battery and what percentage it's at if applicable. And lastly, there's a easy all settings button here to take you back to the main settings if you need to look for something further. And finally, clicking the time and date area opens the notification center and your calendar in one convenient view. From here, you can quickly turn on do not disturb, to silence alerts or start a focus session right from the calendar view to block out distractions. Now that we've got the taskbar cleaned up and we know what everything does, let's move on to designing your desktop and your lock screen to fit your style. We'll start by picking a background that helps you focus. If you right click anywhere on your desktop, go to personalize. Here you can apply a theme to give this more of a dark tone. If you don't choose a theme and you do choose a background, in here you can choose from a picture, a solid color, slideshow, or window spotlight. You can also choose a still image of your available choice, whether that is something from here or a personal photo of your choice. And while you're personalizing, we can also streamline the lock screen for a cleaner look. To do so, we'll go back to personalization, scroll down until we find lock screen, and from here we can choose the background image for our lock screen, as well as get rid of some unneeded distractions. My recommendation is to unclick this get fun facts, tips, tricks, and more for your lock screen as it will just make it have a bit of a cleaner image. I also recommend getting rid of the lock screen status and turning this back to none. And now when you lock your computer or your first sign in from there, you won't have any distracting notifications or widgets blinding your view. Now that we've got our taskbar, our desktop, lock screen, and our start menu the way we want it, now let's go over some of the new features that Windows 11 provides. The first feature is snap layouts. This is a major upgrade for multitasking. If you have more than one window open, you can simply hover your mouse over the maximize button and a menu will appear showing different grid layouts. Pick one and snap your open apps into a perfectly organized arrangement. And one of the most requested features is finally here, tabs and file explorer. Instead of managing multiple windows, you can now open folders in new tabs, just like in a web browser. You can do this by simply right clicking on any folder and select open a new tab, or you can press the plus button up here to add additional tab. 
then you can easily switch between them just like you would a web browser. Now beyond the big new features, Windows also includes powerful shortcuts that can dramatically speed up your workflow. Clipboard history is a feature you need to enable. You can do so by pressing Windows key plus V to turn it on. After that, you can use the same shortcut to see a list of everything you've recently copied, including text and images. And for another productivity boost, you can try voice typing. Press Windows key plus H in any text field and start talking. Windows will then convert your speech to text on the fly, often much faster than you can type. Windows 11 also improves on existing features to make managing your workflow smoother and more intuitive. The first of those being virtual desktops, which allows you to create separate workspaces for different tasks. You can open this up by pressing the Windows key plus Control plus the D key, or hitting the Task View button on your taskbar. If we hit Windows key plus Tab, we can open all the different virtual desktops that we've created, and then simply by clicking on the name field, we can then rename it to whatever we want. And finally, let's cover a couple of powerful tools in Windows 11 designed to keep your system efficient. When an app freezes, the updated task manager is your solution. We can go into it by clicking Control, Shift, and Escape. The first tab you'll see is Processes, which lists all running apps and background processes. To force close an unresponsive app, just select it from the list and click End Task. You can also click the column headers for CPU or memory to find out what's slowing down your PC. But Task Manager is more than just a problem solver. The Performance tab provides live graphs of your CPU, memory, and disk usage, giving you a real-time look at your system's health. If your computer feels slow, this is a great place to diagnose the issue. Let's now check the Startup Apps tab. This will list every program that launches automatically when you first turn on your computer. You can disable any apps you don't need right away to significantly speed up your boot time. Now, a feature I recommend to turn on to automatically keep track of your storage is what's called Storage Sense. We can access this by going to Settings, System, scroll down to Storage, and turning on Storage Sense. This feature acts like a digital janitor, automatically deleting temporary files and old items in your recycling bin to free up space without you having to think about it. And finally, you have control over when to update. Go to Settings, Windows Update, and then click Check for Updates. Windows will download and install available updates ensuring your system remains secure and up to date. And that's it, a series of essential tweaks that transform Windows 11 from a confusing OS into a workspace that actually works for you. You now have a familiar taskbar, a clean start menu, and a set of new features that'll help you save time every day. Now, go ahead and go into your settings and try one of these tips out, and then come back to the comments and let me know which one of them made the biggest difference for you. If you enjoyed this guide, don't forget to like and subscribe so that YouTube can share this guide with more people who need it. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep growing.